Thank you very much, Mr. President. So again, just keeping on the theme that Dr. Burks had, had mentioned, this is the end of the week, that famous week that we spoke about last weekend, in which we — what actually was predicted to happen, happened. We're starting to see the leveling off and the coming down that Dr. Burks had mentioned. Uh, but it's important to remember that this is not the time to feel that since we have made such important advance in the sense of success of the mitigation, that we need to be pulling back at all. I was actually hearkened by the fact that we've been talking about the New York, New Jersey, New Orleans, and other areas where they have really big spikes. But there's other parts of the country, in the middle parts of the country, where they're concerned to make sure they don't get those spikes. And I really want to salute the governors of states throughout the entire United States, but particularly in the central part of the country, because the, the governors obviously see us in these press conferences. And I've had calls over the last several days from several of the governors, you know, from Nebraska, Iowa, South Dakota, Utah. Just about an hour and a half ago, I spoke with the governors of Arkansas and Wyoming, who are really committed to make sure that they don't get into the situation where they're going to have spikes in their state. And they're doing the kinds of things that they don't get recognized because people don't talk about them much. But we have a big country. We have 50 states, and it's not only the big cities. So if we're going to pull out of this, we're going to pull out of it in the big cities, and we're going to pull out of it in those areas that aren't as densely populated. And I just want to give a shout out to them. They're doing an extraordinary job. I was really pleasant. I wouldn't say surprised because I expected of this country. But to hear what they're doing and the commitment that they're putting in to making sure that we don't have the kinds of situations that we've experienced, unfortunately, in other areas. This is very important. I just want to close by one other thing, something I mentioned yesterday and the day before, that there are a lot of candidate interventions that are going into clinical trials. For those of you who are interested in it, I recommend you go to clinicaltrials.gov, and you'll see the design of a clinical trial, and you see that many of them are the randomized controlled trials that are the really gold standard of how you find out whether something really is safe and effective. And as the weeks and months, and it'll probably be months, sometime in the summer, we'll start to see which are working, which are not, and to focus on those that are we developing and will working. I'll be happy to answer questions later. Thank you.